Today, I wanna to go back to the basics and I wanna keep it to five steps to help you start losing weight today. Number one is that you need to turn one day into day one. Two, you gotta aim for 10K steps a day. Three, we need to drink more water than we're drinking coffee. Four, I need you to keep the junk food to the weekend. And number five, you need to work out more. 30 minutes a day is nothing, you can do it. Five steps to help you start losing weight today, and this is applicable to even new people or current members that wanna do it, but they just don't know how to get back on track. This is your reminder. So number one is that you need to start working out today. Now I see people even struggling with just getting back into the gym. What you gotta do is just step foot in the gym. You just gotta book your workouts or contact us, do the five days for five bucks. At the very least, you've got the process rolling. Because I'm gonna tell you, there's never a perfect day to get started or get restarted. We all know that something's gonna come up with work, something's gonna come up with the family, or you're gonna have some new obligation that you weren't expecting. So all these things are gonna naturally happen. You might as well move forward with your fitness. So what you need to do is stop talking about one day and just turn that one day into day one. Even if it's your day one for the hundredth time, doesn't matter, at least you're moving forward in the proper direction. Number two is that we need to aim for 10,000 steps. We just don't move enough. I mean, I know I had meetings all day, and if I didn't coach during the day, play tennis, and also go to the gym, I probably wouldn't hit 10K myself. What I would do in your case, especially if you're working eight hours, is that most people, even if they're wait working eight hours, can take a minute or two to just march in the spot. If you have the luxury of going for a walk, prepare for it. Doesn't matter if it's raining out, doesn't matter if it's minus 50 out, whatever it is, just make it a part of your daily routine. If you follow Kathy Bode on Instagram, you'll see that she does walks every day. Doesn't matter if it's in perfect weather or if it's in 10 feet of snow, she's out there, she's getting her steps and you just have to take that step to make this a non-negotiable so that you're at the bare minimum getting 10,000 steps a day. Now here's a tough one, is that most people drink more caffeine than they drink water. Think about it. How much water did you actually drink today, right? You're always so tired. Why are you so tired? I don't understand why you're so tired. If you haven't been working out, then you should have more energy. But do you notice that when you work out, you have more energy and more vigor to do the things that you normally do? But because you stopped working out, you're now going back to your old vices of drinking more coffee than you actually should. And so my game plan for you is to help you drink more water. Simple solution, grab six water bottles, okay? Now I know these water bottles are not healthy, they're BPA, blah, blah, blah. Just grab six water bottles, okay? 500 mLs each, fill them up with water and keep them on your desk or wherever you are for the, for the remainder of the day. If you're a, a realtor and you're driving between meetings, have your water in your car. If you work at a desk, have your water in front of your desk. If you're at home and you just kind of like work from home, have them laid out on the table where you see it so that by the end of the day, you get your three liters of water. Drink six times 500 mLs, and that is going to help you to get your fluids up. You can still drink all the coffee that you want, but I guarantee if you start to exercise some of these better behaviors and habits by just drinking more water, you're gonna need less coffee. And when it comes to junk food, I know we get stressed, we get bored, we get emotional, we get happy, whatever it is, and we go to the junk food. And do you ever notice that the junk food just kind of becomes unconscious, where your kids maybe open up a bag of chips, and even if it's the Halloween-sized bag of chips, you take one, next thing you know, you've eaten the whole bag. So what we need to do is put a filter between you and it. If you're a person that can't handle those types of things, don't have them in your house, okay? Don't have them in your house, okay? Even if your kids are dying for it, you run the house, they can go out and get these chips. If you absolutely need these chips, then it's gonna be a grocery store run, okay? It's gonna be annoying. You're not gonna wanna get into your car, especially when it's cold. You're gonna have to pack up the kids. You're gonna have to go into the grocery store and you might have to pay grocery store dollars for this. That's fine. It's better that than you gaining five pounds. Okay, so let's put a filter between it. If you have this stuff in your house, then the second recommendation I would tell you is to put it into your MyFitnessPal before it goes into your mouth. It's better to go into MyFitnessPal first, this way you can have a rude awakening, it, asks, it slows you down from eating those chips, and then ultimately it's gonna help with your weight loss journey. And last but not least, if you 
can't have it in the house, track it in your food, track it in your MyFitnessPal, then what you need to do is just push it all to the weekend. Give yourself a cheat day. That's fine. It's just a day that you release. Give yourself one hour where you just get to eat whatever it is that you want. And you're going to get so full that you're going to feel satisfied with it, but you're also not going to want to do it again for another week. So save the junk food for the weekend. And last but not least is that you need to work out more. And 30 minutes a day, five days a week is nothing. You could 100% dedicate to yourself to that. I guarantee you, you know, couple days ago you binge watched the show you watched three or four of them that was probably two hours gone just like that now I know sitting on your couch or laying in your bed watching TV is much easier than actually going to the gym but as soon as you start building up the habit making it just part of your routine your body starts to crave it and if you miss your body's gonna start to miss it just like you miss your favorite TV show so what you need to do is build a routine get in there and just focus on 30 minutes five days a week so there we have it. That's the steps that you need to start today, whether you're starting brand new and you want to contact us to come in for the five days for five bucks, or whether you're a current member and maybe you went AWOL for a little bit, just book your day one, make it happen, and then follow the other four things that I set out for you. And I guarantee you it's going to be the best five steps that you can do to start losing weight.